This is Bill Barry. We hope you've enjoyed our features on Movies Till Dawn. Stay tuned now for right, News Watch. Thanks for watching Movies Till Dawn. And remember, La Habra Dodge has vans, motorhomes, new and used cars at 951 South Beach Boulevard, La Habra Dodge. See you here this weekend. Movies Till Dawn has also been brought to you in part by the Federated Group, Federated California's year-round hi-fi show. Channel 5 invites you to enjoy two great classics this weekend. Saturday, it's The Bluebird with Shirley Temple. We've got to find a bluebird. It's terribly important. A bluebird? All this fuss about a bluebird. Danny Kay stars in the classic tale of Hans Christian Andersen. A cobbler belongs in his shop and children belong in the schoolroom. Tend to your shoes, cobbler, and I'll tend to my schoolroom. To be sure. But is the world made up of nothing else but shoes and schoolrooms and... I'm Hans Christian Andersen. You're under arrest. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Channel 5's Weekend Movies, The Bluebird, Saturday at 6. And Hans Christian Andersen, Sunday at 6. Golden West Broadcasters, Channel 5, KTLA, Los Angeles. Good evening. Rewards totaling $140,000 are being offered or proposed for information leading to the arrest of the Los Angeles Strangler. And we're going to show you what some women are doing to protect themselves in dangerous situations. They're learning the art of fighting off attackers. Tighter regulations are being proposed under which the government will pay for sterilization operations. And former President Gerald Ford, speaking here in Los Angeles, has some comments about the upcoming preliminary peace conference in Cairo. Governor Brown has returned to Los Angeles from London, but this time he did not take the cheapy flight. And John Wayne is back in familiar surroundings, working for a new outfit, one he says he can be proud of. Tonight on News Watch with Hal Fishman, Marilyn Devon, and Larry McCormick. Mudslides take a heavy toll in Sweden. A scientific breakthrough in the use of artificial genes. And three top awards go to Channel 5's News Watch. Reward money for the Los Angeles Strangler will total $140,000 by tomorrow if all the money proposed is actually approved. The County Board of Supervisors led the way by authoring, authorizing $100,000, and the City Council is expected to approve another $25,000 tomorrow. $15,000 has been put up by private sources. Meanwhile, Los Angeles police have been swamped with telephone calls about the series of murders. The Strangler Task Force, now up to 55 men, is handling hundreds of calls every day. There are now between four and five hundred leads that the task force is following. One aspect which is taking lots of time is checking out license plate numbers of cars seen in areas where the victims disappeared. And the series of killings has led to a change in policy on missing persons. We will take uh, all reports uh, immediately. Uh, we had a, a uh, differential between certain ages. Like if you were over 18, we had to wait 24 hours before an official report was taken. Uh, now, uh, uh, all ages, uh, above 11, uh, reports will be taken immediately, and then the, the special task force uh, handling the investigation of the strangulation murders will be notified immediately, and that was effective as of last night. The task force is also using computers to pull out information on suspects who've been involved in similar crimes in the past. The Strangler Task Force would like to talk to anyone who saw any of the victims at any time and any place. And so, in lieu of that request, and to perhaps refresh your memory, these are the victims. Yolanda Washington, age 20, found near Griffith Park, 18th of October. Judith Ann Miller, age 15, found La Crescenta, October 31st. Lisa Caston, age 21, found November 6th in Glendale. Jill Barkham, age 18, discovered in Franklin Canyon, November 10th. Kathleen Robinson, age 17, found in the Wilshire District, November 10th. Sonia Johnson, 14, found in Elysian Park, November 20th. Dolly Cepeda, age 12, 
discovered with Sonia Johnson in Elysian Park on the 20th of November. Jane King, age 20, found on the Los Feliz ramp of the Golden State Freeway, November 23rd. And Lauren Ray Wagner, age 18, found in the Mount Washington area just two days ago. Now, if you have any information, you can call the Strangler hotline. The area code is 213, and the number 485-6823. 485-6823. Well, the Strangler has created fear, obviously, in parts of Los Angeles, and Maryland has that part of the story. Al, in areas where most of the victims were found, women are no longer seen walking alone. And police say there's been a noticeable decline in hitchhiking as well. But in spite of all precautions, times will arise when a woman will have to be alone at night. Newswatch reporter Stan Chambers found one way for women to protect themselves if they're alone and accosted by someone. Dr. Mary Conroy, who stands 5 foot 4 and weighs 104 pounds, teaches the phys ed class in self-defense for women. She became an expert in self-defense after being attacked at knife point 12 years ago. Watch how easy it is to get out. Walking down the street, you grab me, ah, look at the eyes, grind, and knee. Would you let go, Doug, if I went into your eyes like that? This course at Cal State LA has become the model for similar classes throughout the United States. Although she borrows a little from karate and judo, she teaches what she calls street fighting. She believes she can teach any woman, young or old, how to protect herself from an assailant. She says there are many things a girl can do to keep out of potentially dangerous situations. There are three elements in my program. The first one is learning to eliminate danger before it ever begins. For example, lock your doors. Check the back seat of your car before you get in. The second is learn to recognize and avoid danger. In other words, if you're walking down the street and you think somebody is following you, simply change your direction, run, scream fire, and get out of there. Don't say, oh, I'm just a little paranoid. He's really not after me. And the third one is fight. But you only fight when your life or health is in danger. Never fight for money. Never fight because somebody pinches your bottom or harasses you. Only when your life is threatened. When everything else has failed, a woman must react fast and the swift action must incapacitate. Hit the eyes, the groin, the knees, and run away. Now watch again. You're being strangled. Can you go with four fingers into yes. the eyes? Yes. But why won't you? Because you may miss. You can miss. That's right. I have both my hands free. So rather than going here, just turn your head to the side as I go. You know, I get his left ear. I don't want his left ear. If I go with both hands, ah, I've got him. And can you get out? <laughs> Dr. Conroy will conduct a special class for the general public this Saturday at Cal State L.A. The cost is $23. Stan Chambers, Channel 5 News Watch, reporting from Cal State, Los Angeles. Police in San Jose have arrested a new suspect in a series of rapes in that city. The suspect is identified as Francisco Laura. He was shot in the leg by police who were staked out in the area around the campus at San Jose State University. More than 30 rapes have occurred in that neighborhood this year alone. Three other suspects have been arrested in just the past few weeks. Well, a success story in housing has brought some housing officials to Los Angeles for a first-hand look, and Larry has that story. So successful, it's being considered a model around the nation, Hal. It's the Nueva Maravilla housing project. It's in East Los Angeles. It was rebuilt in 1972. Since then, it has become one of the most successful examples of public housing in the entire nation. Today, Assistant Housing Secretary Lawrence Simons arrived to see it for himself. He told Newswatch reporter Stan Chambers it takes community involvement to make this kind of project really work. Well, Maravilla is a success story and one which we are looking at and hoping to duplicate throughout the United States. Maravilla is an example of how the community 